ric a la nostra salute. Salute to you too. Gosh. Um, I just want you to tell me about what what Venice is like, because um, what, what really what I'm trying to get over is is the enormous power of the Venetians. You know, the biggest maritime nation in the world. You must feel a real sense of pride that you know your family were part of all that. Yeah, it depends. You know, with all my ancestors, sometimes I feel that weight a little too much on my shoulders. But then I look at those that went to prison. And so I think, you know, I'm a little better than them. This is a Ducat. This was the coin of Venice for really? 500 years, always the same coin. Gosh. And it is funny because uh, the value of that was uh, you could buy an item of uh, clothes, have a good dinner with friends. For this, for Zacchino. One, one of those. And the graces of a courtesan of average beauty. Fab. I'll drink to that. Me too. <laughs> now this is a dish they've been serving here at the restaurant Carampane for a very long time. It's like a seafood ragu with spaghetti. It starts with a base of onions and vegetables and some garlic, all finely diced and fried until soft, which doesn't take too long. Then it's squid along with prawns, and then some tiny scallops, queenies we call them in Cornwall. Now a generous glass of white wine, along with some brandy. Let it reduce a turn, and then put in some clams straight from the Rialto market, and mussels. Sea snails, they're called murex. They're like whelks with spikes on. Next, very important shellfish stock, and a touch of the Byzantine Empire here, with the infusion of spices. I can see cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamoms, coriander, cumin and cloves. That's put in as a bouquet garni, and then curry powder. That came no doubt from trading with the Byzantine Empire. This cooks now for about 20 minutes until it's almost ready. And then in goes passata, olive oil, parsley, and now served with spaghetti. Now this is important. The spaghetti goes into the seafood sauce for just a minute to finish. Not like so many who drain and serve the spaghetti separately and plump the sauce on top. Do you do that? I do. Oh, fantastic. Casso pippa with a seafood sauce spicy. I think it's a meeting between uh, East and West. Yes. This is so good. I like this thing that uh, to do this, they were putting in a pot with spices, but it was not only food came from the East. I make you an example the fork. The fork just arrived in nearly in the 1000 from a princess of Byzantium to a doge. And from that we have the fork. And at that time, all the people from the, the Vatican, the Pope, said that is the symbol of the devil. Well, yeah, like the, not the exact. <laughs>